Today, we are joined by Eric, the creator of Drums App, a project that really captures the fun and possibilities of machine learning for the web. But before we dive into the project, Eric, please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about who you are. Hi, Ian. Uh, well, uh, my first contact with machine learning was during my degree specialization around 2017, and I really love it. So in summer of 2018, I decided to start my career in a computer vision research center attached, attached to my university. Uh, then two, two years later, I moved to the University of Barcelona to help a group of optical physicists that were working on super resolution microscopy. And they want to introduce deep learning in their research. Uh, then I like it too much, but uh, I felt I was losing something by putting all my focus just in computer vision. So in the meanwhile, I started a master's degree in artificial intelligence that I finished in summer of 2021. And then I keep working on the research field for a few more months until I realized that I was losing my contact with real people problems. So I decided to start working as a freelance mainly for startups while developing side projects. And well, Dramsab was one of such side projects. Wow, that's a really exciting journey. Uh, a lot of really interesting twists and turns. I, I love to hear about how people end up at, you know, working with TensorFlow.js, coming from all sorts of different backgrounds. And, you know, certainly it sounds like you have plenty of experience with machine learning, but this particular project, Drums App, was your first foray into using TensorFlow.js, right? So, yeah, why don't you tell me a bit about what you made? Yeah, I have always been a computer vision Python guy. Uh, but as soon as I start to develop complete projects on my own, I realized that it was too difficult to offer anything to final users if I was limited to desktop applications and that approaching video processing from the backend would be so slow and expensive. So I overjoyed when I saw that TensorFlow had a JavaScript solution that could work directly on the, on the browser, uh, just without any friction for the user, for the user, like, allowing real-time processing, free myself of building complex and expensive server-side architectures, letting the users to access from any device. I mean, that just uh, getting them the model and letting them to play with it. So it, it was wonderful. So I built I build drums up just for fun. I want to experiment with some of the pre-trained models TensorFlow GS was offering. And I thought it was, it would be very, very fun to play art drums, but using my fresh faces and sounds as instruments. So I took the, the hand pose model TensorFlow GS is offering and I used it to build a small data, a small data set as both hands work separately. Every time I beat the, the imaginary drum with one hand, I hit the keyboard with, I hit the, the keyboard with the other hand. So then with that data set of correspondences between hand poses and key hits, uh, I built a very simple recurrent network in Keras uh, that just received the position of hand uh, during four consecutive frames and output the probability of that sequence to be a hit. So finally, since Keras runs with TensorFlow as backend, it was extremely easy to, to export the model to TensorFlow ES and, and start running it in the back, in the front end. This sounds like an absolutely delightful idea. Uh, do you have a demo that you can show us? Yeah, sure. Uh, I can enter it directly. I host the, the application on uh, on on ramsapp.com. Uh, I that's really a proof of concept of the of the whole app. Uh, so here you can set the template with some photos you have on your on, on your PC and associate there some sounds. Uh, I'm using some some photos my friends send me and, and some beatbox sounds they they send me by WhatsApp and I think we wanna wanna play with that. And here you are playing it. Here I'm trying just to the the drums, how they are working. And it works with both hands and that's uh, my both friends like like uh, playing beatbox like tsh, 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 tsh. <laughs> uh, so your friend is uh, very nice to volunteer his likeness for this demonstration <laughs> yeah, sure and so this is this is super creative pulling in um, 
elements from ML and the the visual elements that are so fun. What what do you what are some things that you learned while you're building this project? At the end of the day, it was very difficult to to decide a uh, a good uh, machine learning architecture that works in the in the front end on real time because that's super problematic when you you are hitting a a drum and you need to to hear the response just in the same moment you are hitting. If the if the machine learning model took like uh, a half a second, uh, that's super weird how it how it uh, how you heard it. So a uh, consideration you're saying for folks that want to build something that works on the front end is making sure it's as maybe fast and lightweight as possible to take advantage of the real time aspect. Yes, exactly. Especially when you are playing with with something like that uh, that needs to to be to give real time uh, response to to look re- uh, realistic. So yeah, I definitely appreciate your perspective on that, and I learned so much from folks' experiences in the community. And so, speaking of which, where can folks go if they want to try Drums App themselves? I uploaded it to drumsapp.com with hyphen in between. I really enjoyed when I was trying this out. I uploaded some images that I have from my computer and incidentally, uh, most of them are cats. <laughs> Those definitely work well for drums for some reason. Yeah, I have uploaded just a, a um, folder in, the, in my GitHub with some photos to for every user to use and there are cats photos there. Perfect, so folks can use their own uh, images, but it sounds like you have some test images if they want to check out the GitHub repo as well. So you, you've spent a ton of time with machine learning. You've spent some time with it on the web. Do you have any future plans to um, implement something machine learning for the web? Yeah, sure. I'm in love with the idea of running machine learning models in the directly in the web browser. Uh, lately, I have been experimenting with some other models. I enjoyed, for example, uh, the face landmark model. And I used it for build, building a makeup app. So that's another normal project for having some fun by drawing directly on your face. And I have been also playing with the post detection model. But my next plans about TensorFlow years goes a step further. Uh, I would like to launch my own startup in the following years. And uh, for that purpose, I would like to, to explore the potential of TensorFlow years for dealing with the direct training of frameformed learning models like very shallow the QNs, because I think that letting the users to train their own models uh, directly on, on the browser using their own resources will, will allow me to implement personalized, personalized machine learning solutions for my application without crashing into sort of scalability problems uh, or having to charge them in any way by the maintenance of expensive servers. Uh, besides, when dealing with video, there is a, an additional privacy advantage of running the models on the edge without having to send any user image out of their devices. So sure, I think that there is a long way to go with TensorFlow yes, yet. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I love that. I'm super excited about your plans and definitely we need to keep in touch so I can find out what you're working on. And if there are people in the community that can help you, what's the best place for them to reach you? Uh, I think you know, on GitHub, directly um, my GitHub, that's uh, Eric uh, hyphen Canas. Perfect. And of course, we'll link that below as well. Thank you so much, Eric. Um, I, I love what you've done here and I can't wait to see what you do next.